Welcome back to Booze on the Rock. Hi, it's the Aaron Show again today, and today we're going to use this to make the flaming Spanish coffee. But first, this. Let's get into the history of the flaming coffee. Now, fortifying a cup of coffee with a splash of booze isn't exactly a new idea. Many countries have their own version of boozy coffee. From Italy's Cafe Coretto, or the famous Irish coffee from Limerick, I did a video on that, or in Spain you'd get a Carajillo. But the flaming spectacle that we know as the Spanish coffee today is an American adaptation. James Louis created what became known as the Spanish coffee in the 1970s, and he borrowed it from the now closed Ferdinand Inn in Milwaukee, and of course they borrowed it from Mexico. All James did was just embellish it and make it safer to make. So let's get into making the Spanish coffee. All right, Aaron, we're gonna make a Spanish coffee. So for this, we're gonna need a proper Spanish, uh, Spanish coffee cup. No, <laughs> we just need a tempered glass toddy cup. Okay, so if you'd pass me a, a lemon, please. Thank you. So we need a lemon wedge, okay? And the reason we need a lemon wedge is what we're going to do is we're going to rim our, uh, our glass, okay? Could you uh, sugar the sugar coat the edge, please? Look at that, a thing of beauty. Okay. And now one of the things that we need to do, or the very first thing that we need, is 151 proof rum. So I've got some Gosling's 151 proof rum here. This is a Bermuda black rum. And I'm going to try this because I've never tried this before. And being 151 proof, which is 75.5% alcohol, it's bound to have a bit of a kick. Yeah, you can definitely smell the rum and the ethanol and the... Oh, 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 oh that's strong. Woo! Um, well, where was I? The funny faces. <laughs> you wanted to try it. Yes, three quarters of an ounce or 22.5 mils of the 151. So, oh. uh, the other thing that we need is, of course, we need a quarter of an ounce of triple sec, which is about seven or eight mils. And now what we're going to do is we're going to light this on fire because it wouldn't be a flaming Spanish coffee without fire, right? <laughs> so here you go. This is what I put in. Fire, it's supposed to burn, right? You know? It's not burning very well. There we go. Okay, so I don't know if, how well you'll be able to see this, but you should see a blue flame coming here. And what's going to happen is now we're going to let this heat the glass up while it also caramelizes sugar. So while I do that, I am just going to spin this very, very slowly. Do you see the flame? Yep. I don't know. I hope you guys can see it on camera there coming out of the top of the rim here. So. It gives us a really nifty look down here and up here, and you can see the heat starting to happen up here as we begin to caramelize this. Okay, and so now I gotta talk for a minute or so while this actually happens. Do you have anything important to say? Um, well, my life is not full of a lot of things. Well, it will be full of Spanish coffee in a moment. Okay, so that is absolutely gorgeous. I like the flame, but you know what we need? We need a little bit of cinnamon and a little bit of uh, nutmeg. So what I want you to do, just don't do it close to the top, I want you to throw some in. Does it matter which first? Nope, nope. All right, so here's Just throw it in. Nutmeg. Come on, a bit more. More nutmeg? A bit more nutmeg and a bit more cinnamon okay. and get it right into the cup, right above the cup. Someone's feeling a little bossy today. You better believe it, it's fire. I like fire. And cinnamon. Oh, that now that was pretty awesome, right? 
So, okay, I'll give this a bit more. Now, you can notice you're starting to get more and more of a flame off of this, which is pretty awesome. So, look at that, isn't that gorgeous? This is part of the spectacle of doing this. Now, again, you don't wanna spill this in your bar at home or anywhere on your house, because like you can see, this is all wood, and I'd like to really keep my bar. I'd like to keep my house in one piece too. So, the next thing we need, of course, is two ounces, sorry, I lied, an ounce and a half, which is 45 mils, of a Kahlua, which is of course an Irish, uh, an Irish, a coffee liqueur. I have Irish coffee on the brain from that last video that I did. So we'll do it an and a half. That looked really cool. I thought you were gonna set yourself on fire. I was working on it. I'm working on it. Now, we need about three ounces or 90 mils of a really good coffee that you like. Okay, so you notice the flame has gone out now. Yeah. You wanna free pour the coffee and leave about that much. Oh, that's a bad sound. Oh, you, <laughs> it broke. And... We may have broke something. <laughs> we did, but you know what? It's still holding together, so we're gonna make this happen. Uh, I need a little bit more coffee. So I'm gonna do this and you're gonna be careful, okay? One of the reasons why you wanna be very, very careful and use a tempered, tempered glass because a regular glass would just blow out like that. Okay, so now we're gonna move a little bit quicker just because I don't want this coffee to blow up. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna use the Morgenthaler method for the cream that we would use, of course. My daughter got me this fancy little Boston shaker and we need about one ounce of heavy whipping cream. Eh, maybe a bit more. Okay. And when I say the Morgenthaler method is you can do it a couple of ways. You can sit and whip it and beat the crap out of it. But the Morgenthaler method is to actually shake it. And by shaking it, what we do is we actually expand the dairy and the cream. So what'll happen is you'll gain air into it. It becomes a bit denser. It'll float better. It's also going to be cold. So we're going to be very, very careful with this. So we have to float this as well. And the good thing about this is now I have this easy way to pour it. As you can see, it's dribbling all down the side of my cup. I'm just waiting for it to like break and the whole drink just Well, that's a possibility. But you know, I'm gonna get away with this today because apparently I'm gonna have to go buy some more coffee, some more of this, some more of these, which is not really what I wanted to deal with. Could you sprinkle a little bit of nutmeg and a little bit of cinnamon on top? That's the nutmeg. And lots of cinnamon, because who doesn't like cinnamon? And that looks really, really good. Doesn't it look tasty? It does. Do you want to try it? Or do you want me to try it? You first, because if the glass breaks, I want it to break on you. Oh, wow. <laughs> Can you feel the love tonight? So, let's give it a try. And you can't see it, but there is actually a crack in the glass on this side now. And I think this coffee mug, even though it's tempered glass, didn't like being heated as long as I heated it. Mm, mm mm. That is good. Try it. What do you think? That's good. I actually like that. I didn't think I'd would. Now it's fairly strong, so that's one of the things that uh, you need to think about. And a few of these will uh, will kick you in the teeth. We do burn off some of the alcohol with the uh, the fire, and maybe you don't want to let it cook just quite so long. But the whole idea is to rim and caramelize the sugar, okay? So what I'll do is I'll put the ingredients down in the description below. If this is your first time here, please hit the uh, subscribe button and make sure you hit the uh, bell notification. That way, every time I put up a new video, you get notifications. But if you didn't like this video, you didn't find it entertaining, give it two thumbs down. And remember, this is The Aaron Show, so have a great rest of your day. And we'll see you next time.
already recording. Okay, so you want to actually try this? Here, hold on, and I'll let you have just a little bit. Oh, that's a... It's a little bit. Just going to down it. Yeah, go for it. Well, just try and take a sip of it. It's very, very strong, and you totally lose the flavors with everything that we add in. <laughs> and maybe I should have had her do that while we were actually... Uh... Uh -oh. oh, my God. You good? Are you okay? <laughs> oh, wow. Hey, I need that. I burnt my tongue. Oh, okay. Oh. Oh, that's better. <laughs> okay, so. Oh my 